pay disparity between the men and women is, is just too large and, and we want to continue to fight. Alana and I were talking about what her strategy was going to be for the day and she looked at me and said, Mom, it really doesn't matter because I'm running against the boys today. I won't win. You would, you would, oh. you, you would let Floyd Mayweather, crazy. who is pound for pound the most successful boxer in male history, you would let him in a year's time compete at the same weight against women? Yeah, if there's a weak category... This is from... nonsense. I'm sorry. It's the end of the day. What the spirit of sport. You can say all let, these let things. Me, let, me answer, is, is let me answer the question, then. Be silent. <laughs> Modern women only fight for equality when it benefits them. Equality explained. Welcome to Manusphere Highlights Daily. In this video, we are talking about equality. Let's take a look at the meaning of equality so you know what we are highlighting in this video. 1. The state of being equal, especially in status, rights or opportunities. 2. The right of different groups of people to have a similar social position and receive the same treatment. So without further ado, let's get this highlight real started! Of President Biden's first executive orders was to allow transgender athletes to participate in girls' sports. Quoting his order, children should be able to learn without worrying about whether they will be denied access to the restroom, the locker room, or school sports. So the Biden's administration signs an executive order on preventing and combating discrimination on the basis of gender identity or sexual orientation. All right, now keep this in mind and stay focused. So, Alana, what kind of position does this put you in as a biologically born female athlete? It's really disappointing because I know that me and all the other biological females work really hard at track practice and we work hours a day just to shave off tenths of a second for our times. And it's just really disappointing to know who's going to win the race before it even starts. She said nothing wrong here. It's disappointing to know who is going to win the race before it even starts. Keep that same energy when it comes to these guys. When a divorced dad was ordered to pay child support for a child who isn't his. In a story first exposed about the state ordering a Detroit man to pay child support for a kid that everybody agrees isn't his. A Tulsa man is ordered to pay child support for a baby that's not his. A First Coast man is in a fight with the state of Florida over court ordered child support for a child he has proof isn't his. I never even slept with her. What? I never even slept with her. I never even slept with her. These men have to pay child support. These men have to go to jail for a kid that's not even theirs and they have DNA tests to prove it. And this is all justified by the law. States that attempt to bar girls from sports, regardless of age or of transition, medical intervention or anything else, with the new federal administration will now be risking lawsuits by the federal government, Justice Department intervention and the loss of federal funding. Like I said before, the Biden administration signs an executive order on preventing and combating discrimination on the basis of gender identity or sexual orientation. If you refuse to let a transgender compete, there will be lawsuits by the government, intervention by the Justice Department, and the loss of federal funding. In other words, if you don't comply, you die. And the lawyer has something interesting to say about this. So where does the legal fight go here, Christiana? Well, this order is an irresponsible abuse of power. Irresponsible of power. Did you hear that, guys? Irresponsible of power. When these men go to court, that's exactly what happens. Women are not complaining about you with the power that they have in court. Uncle Ben. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. Irresponsible abuse of power, it is unlawful and it effectively eviscerates women's sports for young women like Alana. Look, we already know what the impact of these policies are. We've seen it play out in Connecticut where two biological males have swiped 15 women's state championship titles over the course of just a few seasons. So this will have a devastating impact on women's sports if it's allowed to proceed. Devastating impact. Why do you think marriage keeps declining? Why do you think we have so many, 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 many single mothers? Why do you think men don't want to mentor women? Why do you think men are going overseas to find their wives? 
That's the devastating impact of the irresponsible of power. Women are not as stupid as you think they are, guys. They know exactly what they are doing. So, Christiana, I, I, this has been one of those things that we talk about. It's so interesting to see groups coming together from far left, far right, across the spectrum, coming together um, to stand up and say, as women's rights advocates, so they may disagree on all kinds of other things like abortion and, you know, workplace issues. Um, they agree here that they think that this is fundamentally unfair to women. There you have it. There you have it. The female Avengers assemble from left to right to help out the sisterhood. Don't worry. She's got health. It's not a coincidence because women will team up to battle the male. In this case, the male who transformed into the female. Spots, it's really disappointing because, I mean, I was lucky enough to go to regionals and states, but I know that there's other biological females that weren't able to. So I just hope that they realize that our sport should be fair. To be fair, exactly, to be fair. Everybody knows that a female competing with a biological female is unfair. Male athletes wipe the floor with female athletes. Prime Serena Williams can't compete with the lowest ranked male pro tennis player. What I'm make is this. It is not beyond the realms of fantasy mm. that a low ranking male tennis okay, player. Okay. Well, well, let me finish. I, I know I, what you're going to yeah, say. Well, let me finish what I'm going to say. Which has happened. The top 1,500 male players in the world mm. would beat Serena Williams, the greatest tennis player of all time, right? There is an article about a man beating both Williams sisters in one afternoon. The foolishness. Speaking about tennis, women got what they wanted. Tennis is one of the very few sports credited with getting it right. Everyone thinks women should be thrilled when we get crumbs, okay? And I want women to have the cake, the icing, and the cherry on top too. That's because of Billie Jean King. The former professional tennis player threatened to boycott the U.S. Open in 1973 over pay disparities. As a result, it became the first major tournament to give both the male and female winners equal prize money. <laughs> equal prize money for female tennis players without playing the equal amount of sets. Women play best of three and men play best of five sets. She wants the cake, the icing and the cherry on top. And the foolishness continues in the WNBA. De Shields and Parker are hopeful one day the WNBA will be able to pay its athletes millions of dollars while playing and practicing like the men, while playing and practicing like the men, while playing and practicing like the men, female basketball players' paychecks don't include as many zeros. The WNBA max salary caps at a little more than $117,000 compared to NBA referees who make $150,000. WNBA players want to make millions like the NBA players do. And listen to the reason why these women feel they deserve more money. So what is your message to the sporting industry about why women deserve to make just as much as men do? Just wake up. Wake up <laughs> and realize that without women, where are, where are we at? You know, if you take women completely out of the equation, where are we? And, it, and if you really ask yourself that and really think about that, that, I mean, that's really all that needs to be said. That, that itself explains why we, need, we deserve to be paid because what do we do for the world? Quite a lot. The foolishness. When you become a professional athlete, it's your job to perform at the highest level. People are willing to pay to see athletes perform on the highest level for the purpose of being entertained. Entertainment, Spaniard. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? I'm here to be entertained and the WNBA is not entertaining to watch. That's why nobody shows up. That's why revenue is not coming in. That's why you cannot make millions of dollars in women's basketball. It's more like losing millions of dollars in women's basketball. Goddaughter as well. Turnover. At the top of the key, but okay, Tierra okay. Ruffin Pratt gets it back a little too. Money has to be earned. Not every sport generates millions of dollars. And if your male counterparts make more money than you do, there's a logical explanation for this. These men are phenomenal. LeBron James is a freak of nature. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter I've ever seen. Kevin Durant is just unfair. It's like playing a video game with a cheat code. And they perform on a high level day in and day out. 
and we are criticizing them like we can do what they do on a daily basis <laughs> so, they have earned their money people are paying to see them but that's not how it works for the sisterhood she doesn't want equality she wants she quality she will only fight for her own benefit she wants the cake the icing and the cherry on top and has no problems with saying that she deserves all of it because she is a woman that's it for today guys this video has officially been highlighted